So my name is Mark Wagenbuur and most people will know me as Bicycle Dutch. That is the name I use to produce videos and blog posts on my blog. That's what I love to do, showing people Dutch cycling in all its facets. So why we cycle, how we cycle and that it hasn't always been like that. Because in my lifetime, I'm 53 now, uh, when I went to school as a teenager, things were very different. And a lot of Dutch people have forgotten about it because you just take the world as it is today. I'm amazed by all that transformation and the transformation didn't stop, especially here in Utrecht. Things are changing rapidly and I, I just adore that. We're right in the middle of Kruiselaan here and that used to be a four-lane road built in the 1970s. On the map you can see the four-lane road and if you look at a modern map there isn't even a road anymore they don't want any through traffic here and because the through traffic is out now you can redesign the street and it is redesigned in a very good way I think so we have a big median and only one lane for traffic and they also introduced parking here so to signal this is not a through road all these trees came from somewhere else from a nursery or from places where they had to where they were in the way for new development and they were all placed here. Over a hundred trees were planted here last November. Just 10 years ago this was a median of a four-lane road, two lanes in that direction, two lanes in that direction. Five years later the road was closed, only buses could go through, you had to go left or right and now today the trees are here, what used to be a median, just one lane for cars and it's a loop. Just We'll go there later, and there you can see that the cars have to come back the same way they came. So, we are at the old city moat. That was the defense water around the wall. We are standing where the wall used to be. And in the 1960s, they made this uh, up to 12 lanes motorway. And I brought a picture of the motorway because it's incredible if you look now. There's water, there are trees, and you can't imagine that it was like this just five, six years ago. Okay, so this down. was the road and it was like a motorway all the wow. way down. So it ended right at that corner. And it ended here in a normal street, so it was pretty useless. So now it's just a normal street with water next to it. And all these big roads in the city center have completely vanished because we don't want the main traffic to be in the city center anymore. See all these viaducts here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, six viaducts over the motorway. And then it just converted back to a normal two lane street on either side. So we are standing to the, uh, in the street that really is the entrance to the old city center from the central railway station for pedestrians. And it used to look like this, a parking lot with 75 cars parked here. And the city council wanted this to be a nice entrance to the city center. So the city council said, let's propose to take away some of the parking. So they proposed to take away like 60, so 15 left. And then the merchants here said, no, we want them all gone. Because we're right off the pedestrianized zone where uh, sales are better than when you have all these cars. Because this is not nice, you don't want to walk here. This is how it is now. This is where you want to walk. This is a nice entr entrance. Here you feel welcome as a pedestrian. But this person is parked illegally here because there's now space to park illegally. But he gets told to go away and he does. <laughs> That's not how you do it here. <laughs> so people get told off. If you just look at the year, it is 2015 to 2016 that this happened. That's very recent. The city has changed so much in recent years. So where are we standing right now? It used to be water since about the year 1000 to 1100. So almost 900 years ago. It has been water ever since, but for 40 years that it was a motorway. And soon that motorway will only be a footnote in history and we'll get rid of it and forget about it. So you can see what it will be like a year from now. So here it says end of the 1960s. So this is the original city moat or canal as you want to say it, with the original bridge and the original water. Then in 1969 
they started making that road, drilling all these piles in there to support this road that they were building. Then they built the viaduct here. This is 1974, the viaduct is finished and it looks like a proper motorway. You could drive 100 kilometers per hour here. <laughs> it was total madness. 2020, the magic year, this is when it all should happen. And you can see how inclusive it should be. So, it is for everyone. It's all to get cars out of the city center, park at the edge of the city, or go into it and then pay the full price. But don't go through the city, that's the whole idea. If you have business here, it's okay to come with a car. If you don't have business here, we'll move you around the city. <laughs>